known for her iconic ski goggles, perfectly red lipstick, and crazy skills on the walk. Jie Fai is one of the most respected culinary legends of Thai street food in Bangkok. She still cooks everything over charcoal, and you will be blown away by her care, expertise, and her borderline ridiculous portions of seafood. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and for lunch today, Ying and I. Hello, Ying. Hello. We are on our way to go eat at a restaurant or a street food stall, a local restaurant. It's called Jay Fai. Many people love it. Many people say it's overrated, and many people say it's way too expensive. Uh, but this is going to be my very first time to eat there. I've never been there, so we have some time today. And actually, let's just go see how the food is for ourselves. Quick word of warning for you, uh, never drive around these parts. Okay, the, the drive was fine, but parking, oh, it's just horrible. Uh, but you should definitely catch a taxi here or walk here. Anyways, we got a little walk and we are, hello, we are almost here. Uh, I'm very hungry now and very excited. We ordered some of her signature dishes. And they're known because she cooks over charcoal, over a, a, just a, a raging hot charcoal fire. And she's also known she, because she always rocks her iconic ski goggles as she cooks. ไม่อุ้มน้ำมันใช่ไหมครับอ๋อโอเคครับเฮ้ยเนื้อปูมันแน่นแล้วมันจะไม่อุ้มน้ำมันอ๋อครับผมอร่อยมากเลยมันสด
เปิดสมัยพ่อแม่แล้วแล้วตอนที่โดนไปไหม้คิดไปมาถึงตอนนั้นเป็นไปไหม้ถูกสิบสิบสิบปีเย็บไปเป็นคนหัวดูไม่ได้ชมตัวเองแม่ต้องขายแก้stood there and watched as she made all of our dishes. Actually, we just got three dishes, but they are huge dishes. And the seafood that she uses is gargantuan. And she, I can say one thing with certainty, she is an amazing lady, and she has to be one of the coolest chefs I've ever met in the world. That style, there's no doubt that this is one of the most insane omelet that you will ever come across. It's literally like burrito sized. There's only two eggs in this entire thing. So you can imagine how much crab is in here. And her method of making this omelet, she ensured us that it doesn't soak up that much oil. Okay, I can guarantee you this thing floats. It is just literally solid, solid full of crab. Look, look at that. Oh, that's just pure crab with a little bit of egg. Can I pick it up like a burrito? I think she will be okay with it. Look at this thing, it is a burrito. It's a crab egg burrito. This is, this is unbelievable. That is ridiculous. Those nuggets of crab literally melt in your mouth. The egg is merely there to hold it all to, to hold the crab together. And then it's crispy on the outside. It really is not oily on the inside. The oiliness is just around the outside. That's just what you call oozing crab onto the rice. And the sauce that you're supposed to use along with kaijiao or an omelet in Thai is the sauce prik, which is a, it's like a, it's a chili sauce, but kind of a sweet, kind of like, yeah, a sweet type of chili sauce. Add some of this. Okay, and that should balance off the, the richness a little bit. Mm. That is, yeah, that's supreme. One of her most famous dishes is pad ki mao sen yai, which in, it literally translates to drunken noodles. And this is a famous Thai dish. Uh, she's known to have one of the most gourmet, one of the most expensive versions in all of Bangkok. And the main ingredient is the sen yai, which are the wide rice noodles. But she, she again made this so expertly. It looks like just a, you could probably pick up this whole thing in one spoon as it all sticks together like a, like a pancake almost. But a couple notable features in here. Um, number one are the size of these mega prawns. And these are ocean prawns. Look, it fills that entire, look, okay, here's the serving spoon. This is a serving spoon. It fills up the entire serving spoon. And that is just solid tiger prawn muscle. Okay, and another notable feature, oh, okay, I couldn't forget the nuggets of crab. She also just decided to randomly throw in here as well. Um, but she also added in both basil, uh, holy basil, and sweet basil to give it flavor. So this, yeah, this is insane. You can see those char marks from the, the wok, the charcoal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna first begin with a piece of the noodle and then I'll, I'll move on to, to bigger and meatier and mus more muscular things. Oh, the depth of flavor that's just like soaked into those noodles because she adds all of the sauce and the seasoning, but then it all dries up. So all of that sauce literally just absorbs into those sticky gooey noodles. You can taste all those flavors absorbed into the noodles. It's almost scary big how, how big that is and how fat and muscular and meaty that is. And I don't know if you can see the scale here, but it is literally, like if you were to, okay, if you were to hold this in your palm, it would take up like your entire hand. You can cradle it. Look at the size of that. This thing is huge.
Yeah, there's no way you want to take that in one bite. Well, you could. It's not overdone. It's muscular. It's juicy. The flavor of all that sauce is just uh, caramelized around the edges. That's just like a muscle in your mouth. Oh, and now moving on to the Tom Yum Gung, which is our final, our third dish. I think I'm actually just gonna move seats over here. The dishes are so big. Up at the front of the restaurant, you'll see that she has a whole pot of bubbling pork stock. And that's what she made the soup with. Um, we, she asked me if I wanted it spicy, and of course I wanted it spicy, so she added in a bunch of uh, crushed chilies. Then she added in the lemongrass, the kaffir lime leaves, and then literal, okay, those same jumbo, absurdly huge tiger prawns also went in, um, and then some mushrooms in here, a bunch of basil, and yeah, and then and then, and then her final step was that she added in some nampik pao, which is uh, roasted chili jam. So first we gotta just taste that broth. Oh, oh, Whew. that is so sour that if you're not expecting that, it will make your eyes bulge. That flavor is just awesome though. You can taste the, the depth of that pork stock, but at the same time you get a, you get the subtle clues of the lemongrass, the basil in there, the kaffir lime leaves, uh, the galangal in there comes in really nicely as well. That's a broth of wonders. There is literally no other way to eat these prawns than to just pick it up with your hands by the tail. They're too big for spoon or fork or chopsticks. They're a job only the hands can do. Something you immediately admire about her is that she doesn't overcook any of the seafood. Oh, that broth is just mesmerizing and it will really make you sweat too. Ooh. The flavor though, that's flavor overload. But I think the dish with the most wow factor is the crab omelet. This burrito beauty, so I'm moving back over here. Just look at those nuggets and just wrapped up in that egg. Literally the egg is just a, it's just an excuse for the crab. Going for some of the picnapla, dress it. Oh yes. This is definitely the best plate of Pachimao I've ever had. An outstanding meal, but the sweat is just dripping right now. And just gonna pay the bill real fast. She is a legend. And our total bill came to 2,390 baht. Uh, so, it's not cheap by any standard of the imagination, but you will eat your fill of gargantuan shrimp and shellless crab here. There's no doubt about that. You know, it's all about expectations. So if you are expecting it to be street food prices and quality, uh, then j Fi is simply not that. She uses premium ingredients uh, and uh, yeah, although yeah, it definitely is very expensive, but you not only pay for the food itself, which is pretty mind-blowing and impressive, but you also, she is a legend. Uh, we were talking with her and that restaurant has been there for 60 years. She's now 71. Her mom started the restaurant and so she has been there since she was 11 years old, helping her mom, cooking, learning how to cook, and so she is beyond expert. She is a, a Bangkok culinary hero. And so my final conclusion is that I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, not, again, not only the food, but also talking to her and enjoying her company and her cook and just watching, having the privilege to watch her cook. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be publishing lots more food and travel videos. See you on the next video.